So my name is Erin Raftery. I graduated in 2015. My job title is communications manager at the Brookings Institution Metropolitan Policy Program. On a day-to-day -day basis as the media um, relations communications manager, um, I am mostly in charge of any media requests that come in wanting to speak with our scholars. I monitor our media phone line and also our media email. I speak directly to reporters and help coordinate interviews. I also keep track of the media clips that our scholars are included in, whether it's a New York Times article, Washington Post, and put together a newsletter that I send out internally to keep track of the amount of media hits that we have. And I also run our Twitter account, our program uh, Twitter account and, you know, monitor it and tweet out anything to promote our reports or anything else notable that our scholars have done. I, in, at St. Joe's, was an English and communications double major, wanting to go into journalism. I worked for the Hawk newspaper for all four years that I was there and got a job at a news outlet. Uh, it was called Inside Health Policy and was a healthcare reporter for two years. I covered the uh, Affordable Care Act and efforts to repeal and replace that. Um, after that, I wanted to switch back into communications. And so I went to grad school. I went to Texas A&M, the Bush School of Public Policy and studied international relations and also communications. Um, which kind of diverged from the normal path. I was looking into more politics and that side of things. Um, but that master's degree helped me land my job at Brookings. And it kind of took both of my passions and brought them together, where public policy and also communications. And I look, work closely with scholars and work on promoting their, uh, their work. So the skills required are definitely public speaking. Um, you know, you're not doing a presentation like you would be doing at St. Joe's, but in speaking with media, you're representing the whole organization. And so you have to be um, very strategic about what you're presenting as, as an organization. And I did learn that at St. Joe's. I took uh, several communication courses where we had to do all kinds of public speaking, we also learned about media and being on the flip side of that, being a journalist, I learned what you know journalists would be asking. And so I was very well prepared to be on the other side of the coin. So students uh, who wanna be in my career, I would say in early in my career when I was a journalist, the best thing you can do is uh, be a part of the Hawk because it's, you know, you're working for a real newsroom. And so it absolutely prepares you um, to work for one. And on the communication side, the press relations PR, um, I would say, make sure you get into some communication classes, but also I know there's some great uh, organizations you can be part of and try to really be part of leadership. So find something that you're passionate, a club, something else, and then just make sure that you can be in a leadership position to get used to representing um, an organization. Networking is very critical, especially if you want to be in the DC market. I would say write a list of companies that you would like to work for and find people at those companies that you can do an informational interview with. When I first moved to DC, I did that. I had a list of 15 places and I didn't get to everybody, but I met someone at each organization and it led to future internships, which obviously led to future jobs. If you didn't go to some uh, Ivy League school, that's a barrier. St. Joseph's University is known far and wide. And so when you go to a market like DC, people know you're from St. Joe's. And so you want to uh, make that known. But if you, you know, aren't perceived as being at a Harvard, I would say that can be a barrier. And that's where networking is very crucial because that's where you're gonna get the upper hand, not just by you know, someone looking at your resume and not seeing Harvard. If you network really hard with people, you're gonna get the advantage and that's what's gonna get you the jobs.
Diversity and inclusion is very important. Um, as someone who's a woman and also someone who has disabilities, it's really important for you to advocate for yourself. Um, you know, it getting a job that will work against you, having those um, different unique character traits, but you can um, leverage them. And so I would say leaning into those and really knowing that it gives you an advantage and crafting your message and your brand, explaining how those things give you a level up. Absolutely. So at St. Joe's and then also at uh, jobs that I've had um, and working with diversity and inclusion, um, you know, people who are in charge of that and other uh, parts of the organization uh, is crucial and has benefited me. I just recently joined one at my work. Um, it's an affinity group about people with disabilities, and it has already improved um, knowledge about what benefits we have in the organization and also what we can advocate for to improve those lesions. I would say um, for resources, the best thing you can do is actually be really knowledgeable about the news. Um, so one thing that I got interviewed, one of my interview questions for this job was what do you read? And it is something that my manager considered to be very important. And so it is best to look up the top publications nationally and get newsletters, learn how they work, and just make sure you're in touch with them um, on a daily basis to see how they are operating. One of the best things actually would be more guidance on networking. Um, there was so much support in terms of helping craft resumes, um, sometimes sending out different job opportunities, but outside of resume and uh, job day, there wasn't really much um, in helping students to understand um, how to network and also sending out notices of job openings, especially on the vacation side. The career day can be very uh, biased in terms of the business school. And so anything you can do to just make your presence known would be, that would have been really helpful. 